Hello good people and welcome to my showcasing of Mac OS 10.7 Lion. This is the developer preview and today we're going to be looking at some of the UI changes made in Lion. Uh, so there have been quite a few of UI changes made um, and the e most of them are kept within Finder. So we're just going to open up a Finder window. Um, and instantly after opening up the Finder window you guys see a whole lot of new stuff and I'm going to walk you guys through it. Um, so here at the top, with the, starting with the traffic lights, uh, they're much smaller. They look more maybe brighter or fuller in color, more vibrant, vivid. Um, below that, we have our forward and back button, not buttons. This is one universal button with a uh, divider between the two um, to separate forward and back. So I still have the option to do both, but now it's just one button instead of two. Uh, below that, we have our favorites instead of places, which is what we saw on Snow Leopard. Um, and the first favorite is actually a new favorite called All My Files. And I'm guessing that this is a new way to, um, to browse all your files at once. And so if I'm looking for a specific, if I had a lot of files, I'm looking for a specific PDF, I could actually go to this drop-down menu and organize it by label, or even kind maybe, um, and look, and then go to the PDF section and then look for through the PDFs to find the one I was looking for. So that is a new feature that I think will definitely come in handy. Um, below that is application, desktop documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures, all stuff we're familiar with. Then we have our devices with the uh, hard drives and the iDisk and all these applications on the, um, I'm sorry, not all these applications, all these icons on the side are very similar to that in iTunes 10. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like the, um, the redesign. They're kind of making everything um, mesh together. Um, there are a couple more features, um, and for that we're going to open up System Preferences. I'm going to go into um, the keyboard. So the reason why I didn't pick keyboard because there's any sort of new feature, but I picked keyboard because it um, shows off a new feature. So before, if you go into keyboard or anything with like multiple tabs, um, they were just split up tabs and they were highlighted in blue. Now we have this um, sliding transition. So if I click keyboard shortcuts, um, it slides over just like that. I can drag it back and forth. Um, that's a new feature. Also, there's a new tweak with the, uh, with the dock. Um, I can show the indicator lights for open applications. So right now you guys can see that there are, um, indicators, but I can also click off of that and hide the indicators. Um, so that's another new UI feature. Um, another one is there's been a redesign for the address book application as well as the iCal application. So if you look here, this looks very similar to the address book and even the iBooks application on the iOS. Um, so this is just a way of how iOS is influencing Mac OS X. Um, so this is, this is very interesting. Um, if I open up iCal, iCal is, um, much more, much more minimalistic. You don't have a bunch of uh, crazy stuff going on. You just have um, just the actual calendar. Um, but everything looks the same in terms of the actual features uh, for the most part. But that is um, my walkthrough of some of the new UI changes in Lion. If I find more, I'll um, certainly make another video for you guys and get that out to you as soon as possible. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do that. Twitter.com slash Fisher12. Hope you guys enjoy this video and take care.